Previously on Zakia Loves Pinto. I'm just, I'm just 25 now. <laughs> Into dance class. The class, the master class is gonna be at Lulu Washington Dance Theater. If y'all got a mask, y'all need one. They're a little bit behind the times. That's um, they're a little different than how most other studi studios are doing it now, but that's okay. I ain't worried about it. I'm all about safety. All about safety. So one thing I know y'all know is that I am the mask girl. Like I usually wear my mask. But because I was immediately going into dance, I didn't think that I needed to have one. I was literally about to go straight into class so you wouldn't have to wear a mask while you're dancing. At least not in this time frame of the pandemic, you know? The mask situation was just weird. It was just like, okay, sorry, like, dang. But I went and got my mask, it was no problem because I don't have no problem wearing it. It was like, okay. is Maminatu Kamara. She's actually from New York, but originally I believe she's from Guinea. She's an amazing master teacher. I've studied with her before and I just always enjoy her spirit. Uh, she's just like super, she has a lot of energy. She brings like just the knowledge and just dance. She lit, she like breathes African dance. She's a great, she's a master. She's a great teacher to learn from. And I just enjoy her because female energy. She's giving out just great female energy. And it's just a joy to dance with her on the floor. The enemy must have been coming for me this night because right when we walked in, I paid the $20 for class wrote my name down and me and baby went to the other side of the like studio. Anyway, this girl who's always been mean to me, I didn't know she was like running the show this night. She came up to me and was like, did you pay? I'm like, yeah, I just paid. My name was literally written down. I went back over and I was like, I just gave you $20 to the lady who was sitting in the front. And she was like, oh, you did? What? I had to show her that I had literally just paid. It was already throwing my night off. I was like, what is going on? This is actually quite unfortunate because I um, was really looking forward to this class and <laughs> I mean, immediately after this happened, and I'm gonna tell you what happened. Immediately after this happened, my like energy for the dance class like went away. I was not interested. I was actually mad that I was I had to be there. I wanted to still enjoy the class, but I felt so embarrassed, but not really embarrassed because of my decision to wear what I was wearing, but more embarrassed that it was no respect for me. Like. The respect was gone. Let me tell you what happened. So I came in the class, you saw what I had on. I had on some gray shorts and this green like shirt I had on sports bra, um, some biker shorts that were not, I have smaller biker shorts than that. And it wasn't like they were the color of my skin. These were gray shorts. So I'm in class, in the front of the class. She's about to teach the dance steps. And you wear a lapa, a lapa in African dance is meant to be there and when you're going across the floor, it's like a cultural skirt to wear. Um, I guess you could call it, say like a ritual to wear, right? In African dance. So, but I usually put on my lapa when we're about to go across the floor because I get really hot, right? I get really hot. I don't like to get overheated because I start to feel uncomfortable. So I like to have on the minimum amount of baggage as I possibly can. So while we were learning the steps, not going across the floor, I was dancing in my biker shorts, which is totally fine. Because if you see in the video, it's other people in the class that did not have on a lapa. 
So, Mama Natu, who I'm just really surprised by this interaction with her, she basically called me out in front of everybody and was like, can you put on a lapa? Like, do you have a lapa? Can you cover up? I should have at that moment said, what is wrong with what I'm having on? But because it was like a full room of people and you know, you're, you're taught to re really respect, don't say nothing back, respect your elders not to talk back. I was like, let me just not say anything and let me just put it on. But she just, it, I felt really disrespected. I was just really saddened to have to go through that experience. <laughs> It really hurt my feelings because I didn't understand why she would have an issue with me wearing biker shorts because it was other people in there that had leggings on sweatpants on without a lapa you know and so why would she single me out and say something to me about the shorts that I had on this is the dance community in LA I'm not in Africa or Guinea or Nigeria or anything like that if I was in those countries and it was more rules of what I was should wear I would for sure abide by those rules but we are in an African dance class an athletic class in America you know I um, haven't said anything to anybody about it this is the first time we're really speaking about it like this love that I have I still have like this love for African dance like that doesn't change but it kind of made me shy away from going to class for at least right now so which is unfortunate but anyway um yeah it changed my vibe all the way i was ready to leave that class okay and i i, I still plan to say something to mama not to eventually but for now i haven't said anything i'll leave it at that i'm a person that likes to keep things very lighthearted. To, to protect myself usually because you know I don't want to let nobody see me cry or I don't want to get too emotional so I kind of cover it with like this nervous laugh if you ever hear me laughing like I'm a, usually it's my nervous laugh but this situation really hurt my feelings like the ish really hurt my feelings and um, it's kind of hard to get over that kind of experience like with somebody Kind of calling you out in front of everybody but not calling you out for the right reason you know so uh yeah it's I'm, i may keep things lighthearted, but deep down i'm actually really affected by it we gamble uh, no slot machine. machine slot machine yeah. i'm in an urgent here come on give it give it give it to him he wants to be an asshole about it was voted one of the best restaurants in the world right now. chill out it's good we got you Ooh. Ugh, the congestion. <laughs>